here we have the first ever crowd developed computer, EV. So this device has been developed by more than 1,000 people in our online community for over a year. Each and every spec has been selected by tech enthusiasts. So for example, we ask users about everything, about battery, display, keyboard, ports. People voted on everything. So um, we ask them, guys, so would like to have a bit thicker device with already battery life or chase the uh, race for slimness and get it a bit slimmer and no battery life. So people chose the all day battery life. Same happened with ports. So this device, unlike many other two-in-ones, have has the most ports, I think. Uh, it's uh, USB, two USB-C ports. One of them is Thunderbolt 3. Here we have USB-A uh, port, normal full-size USB port, 3.0. And here's another USB-A port. So two USB, two USB-C ports. Then we feature a headphone jack that has a dedicated audio amp by Texas Instruments. What it really does is that even if you have bad headphones, it allows you to hear them way better. Um, then uh, our device has a panel with a really great resolution. So it's 12.3 inch EXO display with uh, 2733 pixels uh, by 1824. Um, it also comes with anti-reflection coating that allows you to see uh, the screen better uh, during the daylight. Um, I'm not sure how it's showing on camera, but you can see something. Um, so then next we have um, two far field microphones here. Uh, we've put special attention to them with really good noise cancelling. Um, uh, we also have the keyboard that is uh, connected through pogo pins that are located just uh, here. And the, the keyboard also works wirelessly. And that was done for the moments when, as you know, kickstand is inconvenient for lap use. So then you basically can just uh, use your device on your, uh, the keyboard here and the, uh, key key, uh, the device, uh, let's say, on your, the table. Um, then also the, the device is equipped with uh, a pen using Entry protocol. It has 1024 pressure levels. Nothing impressive there, but it is also compatible with Surface Pro pen, the latest one that has over 4000 pressure levels supports tilt. Uh, that's because we use the same technology. Um, then on top of that, our device is a multicolor backlit keyboard that I don't think you can see in the, uh, the daylight. Uh, it has a glass precision trackpad, Alcantara fabric here, um, and uh, it's carved from a single block of aluminum. Uh, it feels and looks slim while packing the all-day battery life. It's 48 watt hours, um, and it comes with a kickstand that goes to this kind of angle. I think that's uh, 140 degrees. I'm 100 percent sure, but that's that's how far it goes. Um, and then uh, for cameras, there is nothing fancy. It's two and five megapixel camera because our end user said that they are not as important as other things in the two-in-one. Uh, and um, you will get a pen, Alcantara keyboard and the V for $7.99 US dollars in the US and $7.99 in Europe, uh, including taxes. Um, and um, the basic package comes with Core M3 processor, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, because we think 4 is just unreasonable, uh, and then 128 gigabytes of storage. Um, our storage is PCIe, uh, Intel 600P, so it's very fast um, drives. And the highest end model comes with i7 processor, um, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, 512 of storage. Um, and one more note, so our CPUs are fanless, so it's Core Y CPU, uh, but because of the cooling solution we use, uh, which is a corporate heat pipes with a lot of heat sinks here and aluminum housing, the heat dissipation is really good, so our device can run at turbo frequencies for longer times. But I'm sure that Board of Work will get one unit as well and they will do their own judgment on how well it performs against others. But uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure being with you and uh, cheers. <laughs>